Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Grounded video. So, obviously, we had the Bug Strike Back update, which reset all of our progress. And uh, with every new update, you know, we have to go pay our visit to the Broodmother. Um, so, it's curious to see how it's gonna, how the fight's gonna be with the uh, new Mithridatism change. Now that we don't have 100% immunity, I did uh, stream it yesterday, and we uh, killed her about four or five times, and it was actually pretty easy. Now, again, I prepare a lot, so I make sure I have my smoothies, my the right weapons and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and give you guys an updated version of the how to kill the broodmother with our preparations that we have here. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, if you haven't done this by now, go ahead and make yourself a little lean-to or a bed if you want. Just in case you die, set your respawn point here so that way you don't have to run all the way back from your base uh, to come try it again or to come get your revenge. Now we're just going to go through the uh, equipment we have here. Now with the armor upgrades and everything, we've got our level 9 sleek black ant armor. And you can see the reason we have this one is for two reasons. A couple reasons actually. So it's no longer heavy armor, it's now medium armor. So the stamina cost for swinging weapons and everything isn't going to be as bad as it was when it was uh, when we had heavy armor. And more importantly for the, uh, the buffs here that we have, crit after block and crit hyper stamina. Now if you look at these two, this is probably the only uh, bonuses of any armor that actually work uh, hand in hand. So crit after block, we're going to look at this. Blocking attacks is a chance to increase your crit hit chance for a short time. Now this is important because we are going to be trying to uh, block. We're going to be trying to get perfect blocks. If we get that off, uh, we have a chance, at least in theory, to uh, have our critical hit chance increase for a short time. And hand in hand with that goes this plus crit hyper stamina. So critical hits increase your stamina regen for a short time. So if we block, we have a chance of getting a critical hit. And then our critical hits have a chance of increasing our stamina regen for a short time, which is going to be uh, super beneficial. And of course, we still have pin cushion reflect some damage back at the attacker. Not really sure if that's going to do a lot for us, but this is the setup we have, our level 9 black ant sleek armor. Now let's take a look at our weapons. Uh, we're going to be using the spicy coltana here. You can see level 9 mighty. Now you can use the uh, the antlion greatsword here down the spicy path if you don't have the coltana yet. I recommend this more just because it's going to do a little bit more damage and... Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we do have our crossbow, level 9 mighty crossbow here, but the only reason we're using this is uh, to use these super gas arrows. Now, you'll see in the fight, once we go ahead and jump in there and do this, that I'm not going to be firing these super gas arrows at the Broodmother herself. I'm going to be kind of firing them off to the side now, because I'm not worried about trying to get her damaged with the, the gas attacks. I'm basically just using this for the adds. When the adds start spawning, the spiderlings, the web orb weaver juniors, this is what I want them to uh, get hit by. Because I'm not going to be focusing on the ads at all. We're going to get up in the Broodmother's face and just uh, face tank her with our Coltana. Alright, so some of the other stuff here. We do have our smoothies. We have a beefy fuzz on the rocks, which is going to increase our max health and give us heals. And last longer because, or uh, a bigger heal, bigger pool of max health basically. Our sticky human food, which is going to last longer with the damage resist. Super, hu super useful. And our sticky liquid rage, which is going to make our plus attack last longer. Uh, something else that I have here for this time, obviously we have our fiber bandages. Uh, we'll track those uh, if we need to. We're going to pop one right off at the beginning of the fight just to make sure that we constantly get that regen. But um, with the inclusion of the roasts now providing a heal, a bigger heal, I went ahead and threw a couple of these in my hot bar. So if I do need a big chunk of heal, then I'll go ahead and use that. So just uh, probably recommended that you bring a couple of the same ones like I have here. I don't know why I grabbed a weevil one. But we're going to use those. We've got them on a hot bar, hot bar down here. We're going to use those just to uh, get off a bigger heal. Mutations, pretty uh, standard. We are going to still go with Mithridatism, even though now it's only a 75% poison resist as opposed to the 100. And it is a little tougher now because the Orb Weaver Juniors do uh, have a poison attack as well. You might get doubled up on the poison. It's not going to do extra damage, but it's going to make that poison last a little, little bit longer. We have our Blade Master here, obviously, to try to prevent uh, the stamina drain from further combos. Meat Shield for the max health. Buff Lungs for the max stamina. Of course, Coup de Grass, so it gives us that uh, extra crit chance, especially that's going to work hand-in-hand -hand with our crit um, buffs over here. So that is pretty much it for our setup here. Make sure we got our Lean to set up there. Now we're going to go ahead and head in here and take her down. Now this should be pretty easy. Um, you want to obviously make sure you're getting your blocks off. The biggest thing is uh, just avoiding the ads and making sure that you're staying on the Broodmother herself. I know a lot of people try to sit there and take out the ads, especially if you're in multiplayer. If you're in multiplayer, it might be useful to kind of have somebody track all the ads to one side, use some super gas arrows, and then have one person with a uh, spicy Coltana just to uh, face tank the Broodmother. 
but this is what we're gonna do here obviously we have our super gas oils down here set up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop our uh, smoothies and then our bandage and then get to it one other thing too before I do this I did make a black ox burger which is gonna provide you the uh, damage resist and increased attack as well now the smoothie buffs don't stack so you can't sit there and pop off a bunch of the same smoothie and expect to get better benefits but the meals and the smoothies do attack so if the smoothies and the meals have the same uh, bonuses those will stack just to make it a lot easier for you so I, I made my black ox burger left it in the oven it's probably burnt now anyways let's go ahead and pop our smoothies then our bandage and uh, we'll get into it and just watch where I fire these arrows too because we're not gonna fire at them and don't shoot uh, right when she's coming down otherwise you're gonna start the fight um, early so I want to go ahead and shoot one over here go ahead and shoot one over there if you shoot her with it what's gonna happen is that if you if she's hit with the uh, gas damage then when she's near you you're gonna be taking that damage from the gas there is as well run out of stamina that's all right we'll get it back here don't worry about the ads just keep an eye on your health we did take a poison hit there So we're gonna go ahead and pop one of these roasts. Not the prettiest fight here, but a lot of it depends on the uh, the crit that we get off or not. Stick with it and you should be fine. So not the prettiest one, obviously. We got hit with the poison a few more times than I would like. Trying to get the perfect blocks when you have all those ads on you now does make it a little bit more difficult. And the fact that you do get hit with the poison now, it just throws another element uh, into it that makes it a little bit more difficult. But we made it through all right. Use those roasts to uh, give you a quick bonus heal right there. And then you'll be good to go uh, also make sure that you do peeper if you uh, haven't done that yet don't worry about trying to peeper before the fight you can when she's coming down if you want um, just make sure once you kill her because you will kill her with this strategy go ahead and peeper and then uh, hopefully you get that gold card which we still have not yet get yet to get so that's it um, the smoothies definitely help obviously if you have the black ox burger that's gonna help your bandages pop a couple of those so your uh, health is continually regenerating and then bring some of the roasts too because they do give you a bigger chunk of a uh, heal as opposed to the bandages obviously so that's what we got for this video guys uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe if you haven't already we'd love to have you join the community link to uh, join the discord in the description and uh, with that being said everybody take care of yourself take care of each other and as always Stay original, my friends. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.